Hi, it's Charlotte Mabry again with Keller Williams. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Today we're going to talk about the question on my mind today. Do you have a problem with your foundation in your home? Hi, it's Charlotte Mabry with Keller Williams. I thank you for hanging out with us today. And one of the questions that I think everyone should be asking, thinking, looking at is, do you have a problem with your home's foundation? Now, before we get into this topic today, if you're thinking of buying or selling, this is information you need to be thinking about ahead of time. And speaking of buying or selling, if you want some tips and tricks out on how to do that the best way, our team is here to service you. And just click on those little buttons that are down there that says, hey, I want to buy, hey, I want to sell, and uh, we'll be glad to get you some information on that. So if you're thinking of, hey, you're, you brought this question to mind, how do I know if maybe there's a problem with the foundation on a home? There's several ways and several telltale signs that might say, hey, you might want to think about this. Um, first of all, if you have any sort of warped or sloped flooring, um, when you go in a house, and I've been in them before, I think of taking a, a marble or some round spherical thing and laying it in the floor and man, it goes rolling across the floor. Trust me, that's a problem. Uh, nothing's perfect, nothing's perfectly level. But if, if you can see bucked flooring, mood flooring, maybe even cracked tile. If let's say you're in a kitchen and the tile is cracked, uh, that may be a problem with foundation that the house is moving and it's enabled a movement there to crack that tile. So that's that's our first thing to look for, are those floors sloped? Maybe when you open a door or try to close that door, it won't do that. That is another sign. Many times doors that don't open and close or maybe windows that are jammed shut, we think, wow, something's wrong with that window. Well, it might actually just be that the house has a foundation problem. I've been in a lot of houses where you see and the next thing on my list, which is door frame gaps. Maybe when you close a door, you notice that the door frame is not quite squared up and the door's hanging at an angle. Uh, that is a problem. That shows that the house has moved. And many times around that same area, you'll see wall or ceiling cracks. I know many times I've seen houses where that very door that won't shut well, right up above it is a crack in the sheetrock or maybe a crack in some sort of the wall finish there where you can tell the house has moved and the house is settled and a telltale sign to look is that area where the door won't close or it sticks or it's hard to move. Another thing I've seen in homes is perhaps a gap between the wall and the floor. Many times we see this like on a front porch. If you step up on a home's front porch and you notice that the front porch floor, well, it's kind of sunk down away from the actual house. And you can see a gap between that floor and the wall of the house. That is definitely a concern. All sorts of critters and creatures can get in there. But more than that, there's a potential for foundation settling. Uh, and many times if you're looking out there on the exterior, if you see cracks in the veneer, like cracks in the brick that's outside, we see those step cracks sometimes. Those are signs that perhaps the house is moving around. So now that I've worried you to death, what do you do about that, right? You see some things you're wondering about that. It's always good periodically to perhaps have a home inspector come in. But in this case, I'm thinking of a certified structural engineer. If you really have these issues in your home and you're thinking of selling it, we're going to be giving you advice to get someone out, particularly a structural engineer, who can give you some advice on how to at least denote this, tell people about it, disclose it, but perhaps do something to fix it. And, um, you know, fixing foundation issues needs to be carefully thought through and a slow process. You don't want to just suddenly go change things and have your house move even further. We've got some great connections with foundation experts. If maybe if I've brought that to mind today and you have a question, we'd be glad to get you someone that you can speak with and find out further information. Just send me an email, charlotte at charlottemabryteam.com or give us a call at 423-593-5588 and we'd be glad to be of service. Thanks for watching today. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.